for many years I've enjoyed outboard motors and I'm not sure if it's just because of the gears or what the motor does or even the looks but in the hobby we have different types and sizes of outboard motors we have scale motors which can range from a couple hundred dollars to up to a couple of thousand dollars depending on how much you want to spend but I really don't want to spend any money so I thought I would take on the task of seeing about creating my own so in this video I'm going to show you how I went about doing it now there's all types of motors there's outboards that are electric there's outboards that are gas they're glow some are scale and some are built to look like outboards but are basically built for speed so what I'm going to be creating is a 3d printed lower end and cowling and it's actually going to be the motor that you see here on this white boat and this is the motors laying next to a five dollar bill it's about uh, 15 and three quarter inches from the bottom to the top and here's a look at the cowling and here's a look at the lower unit left half here's a look at the inside of the right half and here I'm going to show you how I went about creating it so it's on the 3d printer and I believe it took uh, in the neighborhood of 12 hours for this print uh, just this one half and of course here is the half after 12 hours so it's completed and here it is with the gears laying in the opening but you can see here I've decided to scale down the gears for clearance so there was no clearance issues also I used quarter inch shafts and I put flat spots on the shafts and with the flats it allowed me to lock the gears to the shafts using epoxy so I used my little applicator trick made from paper and was able to uh, put the epoxy in the holes of the gears and fill the void where the flat spots were so basically I epoxied the gears to the main shafts and here's the case where if I can't buy what I need I make it so what I had to do was design a fixture that allowed me to cut a nut pattern in the flanges of blind nuts so here's a look at the fixture with the blind nuts mounted in place and now I'm going to show you how I went about cutting them on my CNC machine As you can see, it didn't take very long to cut them and they turned out perfect. A quick check of the fit into the lower unit and that flange sets down in there perfectly. So now the next thing I needed to do is create a mount that would allow me to connect the electric motor to the outboard motor to drive the prop shaft. So what I did was design a mount and then 3D printed it. And then of course I was able to mount the electric motor to the outboard motor. Next, I went about 3D printing the cowling, and this cowling took about 16 hours total time to print. So it does take a little bit of time for some items, but the results are just amazing. It actually printed the top of the cowling, which is almost flat, but yet it was a perfect print. So I hope you've enjoyed this little outboard project. I have other projects that I'm working on. Um, and so maybe there'll be some more videos that I will upload, but I'm not going to upload a video until I've at least completed the project enough so that there's no delay in seeing the final results. I have a few projects that I need to finish up and I, I will be getting on those. So if you're still watching, I'm sure you want to see the finished results of my 3D printed outboard motors. So here's a look at a short video clip that I made after I finished the install of the batteries and speed controllers that are housed underneath the cowling of each motor. So 
So here's a look at the completed motors. Uh, I guess I could dub them the COVID-19 motors. And they do them. Eventually, I'm going to tie these to a Arduino and have them uh, do a sequence on the hour and a half hour if I decide to put them in the clock. Now, this one hasn't been run that much, so it's not broken in, but this one. I've been running for about three hours while I was completing the other one. You can hear how smooth it's become. Whenever I first started running this one, uh, it sounded like the other one. But once the gears mesh and break in, well, they smooth out. And you can see this thing really sounds smooth. So I hope you've enjoyed this little view of the outboard 3D printed motors that I created with working props.